This rather windy video uh, is taken on Arden Merkin, which is one of the major tertiary volcanic centres of mainland Britain at about 55 million years ago. And we're looking out towards Skye and towards Rum. So we're looking west at some big volcanic centres. Coolin of Skye and of Rum are these big basalt mountains, which are the hearts of volcanic centres. And in fact, that flat land you can see on the left on Rum there is uh, basalt lava flows. So what does this have to do with the current eruption in Iceland? This is my sketch map of the North Atlantic with um, Iceland and Greenland and this is the trace of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and we were standing here on that green point is Ardenmerk and looking out westwards towards Skye and Rum. And if I plot on this map, all of the regions which are shallower than two kilometers depth, so that's two to three kilometers above the seafloor, the normal ocean seafloor, it's all of the black region here. You can see it's connected across this bridge from Scotland through Iceland into Greenland. Uh, and in fact, all of this is volcanic rocks, basalts of what's called the North Atlantic Igneous province, which is this region in red, and these are all associated with an upwelling of hot rock. If you think of something like a lava lamp, this big upwelling of hot rock that came from very deep in the earth at the, the core mantle boundary at about 3,000 kilometers depth, and it impinged before the Atlantic opened on uh, underneath Scotland and underneath Greenland and produced this big uh, outwelling of volcanism. And it's still going on underneath Iceland. 